So I made a little experiment to see if I could uh, uh, use my, my hollows with the uh, Jedi light system. So that's the uh, Scott Gray's Jedi system. It's really very nice. Uh, he got the effect perfectly right with the rear here. And you can actually talk to the Jedi system using uh, RS-232 and, and, and little commands here. I hooked it up to my, to my computer uh, for tests. And you know, here are two hollows. Uh, this is the rewired one, so it'll hook up to the Jedi system. This is the original one, which I'll hook up to uh, 5 volts, if I can need a camera somewhere. Here we go. So we'll hook up. Uh, here is my regular one. Nice and bright. And here is the Jedi one. And no, that's it. It just hooks up directly from here to over there. I put it on HP one so that this big cable burp that loops around. And uh, let's see how it works. So let's go, and so I have a little interface here. Uh, it comes with a package, and let, let's just turn it on, see what happens. Yeah, it's remote control. But you can see that it's disappointing. It's just not bright enough. The, um, the driver in the Jedi system just doesn't have the oomph. Um, so let's try something else that's really fun. Uh, it can do the Leia message, so let's try Leia message. Leia message. There we go, and there's the blinky blinky thing. Um, so, uh, the direct rewire is probably not the right thing to do. Uh, I'll just uh, use regular wiring and, and put a little transistor in there to get them to the same brightness uh, with and without the Jedi system. It's pretty cool though, it shows potential.